Hello, I'm Kevin Anderson, Senior Technical Trainer at the Grunfoss Technical Institute. This video will be a demonstration on how to properly prime and vent a Grunfoss CM or CME pump. Now, depending on your application, the system may be under pressure, the liquid might be scalding hot, or it could be some type of a liquid besides water. In any of those cases, make sure that you take proper care to ensure that the liquid does not cause any personal injury or damage to the other components. Now for this demonstration, we're gonna just be using cold water. Now the CM pump has to be vented, whether it's a suction lift application or if it's incoming city water pressure. Now for our application, we have a flooded suction coming from a tank. We don't have a valve on the suction side of the pump, but we have closed the valve on the discharge side. For here, because I just have water, I'm just put a rag underneath just to catch any water that comes up. And then I just have a 10 millimeter Allen wrench. So I'll loosen up the priming plug. I'll just take a funnel or the priming port. And I've completely filled the housing on the pump. So now that's completely full of water, put back in the priming plug. Tighten it back in place. Wipe up any residual water. I'm going to go ahead and put power to the pump. Then I'm going to slightly open the discharge valve because you never want to start a centrifugal pump against the closed valve. Then I'll press the on-off button to start the pump. Vent any leftover air out of the pump. Close the discharge valve. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thank you.